As we know, training intensity and duration determines the energy system. Low intensity, long duration engages the aerobic system and slow twitch muscle fibers. Whereas high intensity, short duration engages the anaerobic systems and fast twitch muscle fibers. With this in mind, we can look at a couple of activities and determine which energy system is being used by looking at the duration of the effort. When we know which energy system is being used, we can determine which type of muscle fibre is favoured for that activity. For long duration, low force sports like cycling, triathlon and long distance running, slow twitch muscle fibres are favoured. As the muscle needs to produce sub-maximal levels of output for an extended period of time. In these types of activities, the aerobic system provides the majority of the energy. The aerobic energy system is only limited by fuel, so it's possible to go for hours as long as you can eat on the run. Consider the Hawaiian Ironman that has a race duration of between 8 and 15 hours. The winners of this event have extremely efficient aerobic energy systems and are able to refuel whilst they are swimming, biking and running. Alternately, short duration, high intensity training allows greater weights to be lifted whilst engaging the fast twitch muscle fibres. Remember, the anaerobic systems of the phosphate system and the lactate system are for short, hard durations and predominantly utilise the fast twitch muscle fibres. Consider a rugby prop forward who needs to produce high amounts of force during scrum activities, which last 15 to 20 seconds. During this period, he'll be utilising fast twitch muscle fibres and the phosphate and lactate energy systems. However, in between scrums, he will need to use his aerobic system to get around the field. Next time you look at a sport or activity, try and determine the energy system and the muscle fibre type being used.